So what are we going to do for an intro now? You will be the police. <laughs> How's that? I think that will work. Yay! <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Griever and Arlene here, and I am going to be kind of resurrecting-ish uh, the Back to Basics series that I did a couple of years ago. Yay! And <laughs> in this one, we are going to teach the basics to you. Yeah, me. Because over the years, this lovely man's been doing, giving me all the Nerf guns I could possibly want. And I'll admit, I'm a horrible YouTube partner and did not watch his videos. Because he did all the work for me, so why... Why, why would I? So I'm getting a... a you see what I'm working with here. <laughs> I'm getting some first-hand, one-on-one -on -one teaching to, to mod this. This was selected for me. I know nothing and what's going to happen. Okay. So, so, so you have to do the rest. <laughs> okay. So any good modder knows you start with something simple. You know, the whole adage, keep it simple, stupid. There's nothing more simple than the classic night finder other than maybe the fire strike i don't happen to have a fire strike and also for some reason i've had bad luck modding them but i've done a bunch of night finders same concept so yay arlene will be doing all of the work for this mod I'm and i'm just going to basically be walking her through it step by step for the most part i'm gonna fail miserably please be gentle in the comments it'll be um, fine So, you say so. <laughs> I know so. That confidence, though. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be. All so right. let's go over the workbench. We'll go over what we're going to be doing to it, what we're going to be using, and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to use these specific items for it, but this is what we're going to be using. If there are any substitutions available that you could be used in lieu of something that we're doing, I will definitely point it out. But this is what we're using because this is what I have, or at least we have, in the shop. So, Be prepared for a lot of stupid questions. There are no stupid questions, only snarky remarks. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Yay. So. Let's get started. Yay. So what are we doing today, James? Okay, so we have what we are going to need to modify the Nightfinder. Obviously, your blaster. A Dremel. The Dremel is not 100% necessary. You can use a hacksaw or other kind of saw if you have it. It's just we have the Dremel, so we are going to use it. Uh, you will also need a half inch CPVC coupler, a length of half inch CPVC piping. Uh, this is actually a barrel I had used for something else. And I figured just for sake of time, we're just going to use this. Um, I have sanded it off, which is why there's really no markings on it. Uh, one of the things you can do to help aid in loading a barrel is just takes, once your pipe is cut, just take a little bit of sandpaper or a sanding drum for, like to say, a Dremel, and just kind of bevel the edge a little bit. It will help in loading the darts more. Uh, you also need a replacement spring. I have, I'm honestly not 100% sure if this is K25 or K26, but I have one that should fit, or if not, we can always recut uh, from a bigger piece. So, and to make sure everything sticks together like this to the edge, end of the barrel is we have some five minute epoxy here, a screwdriver, some 220 sandpaper, and something to mix epoxy on. Oh, which also reminds me. Oops, it was speak. Which... Okay. And there we go. Rude. Just tossing all over the place. All right. So thank you for the lovely introduction to everything we have that we're going to be using today. Mm -hmm. Now, my main question is, you say we're modding this. Yes. We're modding this to make it stronger yes and just 
be able to pull faster? Well, not so much pull faster because you're going to have heavy springs. So the okay. pull's going to be a little heavier. I already have issues pulling the ones you already mined. <laughs> <laughs> However, that is pretty pitiful. <laughs> like that's that, that that's made for a five-year-old. Um, but I have my four mines. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So it's to make it faster in actually shooting the dart out. Yes. And then just a stronger shootout. Yes, okay. because the barrel fit for the darts for half-inch CPVC mm -hmm. is kind of tight. So okay. you need a good shot of air to actually propel it through the pipe. This pipe may also be getting cut down because this is actually going to be kind of long for a knife finder. So. Okay. I'm going to continue having really stupid questions going on. These are not it, stupid questions. I, I know. Anyone who but... has never modded before would probably be asking this. We are going to okay. need to strip this thing out, so you will have to unscrew everything. Okay. That's what I figured. And the one thing is you will have to remember there is a little nut there that holds okay. that. So you will have to make sure you do not lose that. Okay. Oh, I'm and... taking mental note of what screws in the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now going to be the other fun question. Do you want to keep the electronics in there or not? What what electronics? <laughs> I didn't know it had any. Well. You just literally handed me the gun. No darts or anything to try well, it out. It, so. it, it has a little light there, but that light really, really sucks. So okay. we can just take it out and it's still be fine. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll take it out? Okay. Okay. So... Just glued in there. <laughs> no, screwed in. So there are a couple more screws in here. So you'll have to take these out to take out the plunger, which mm -hmm. we will need. Uh, the trigger you can leave in. And then the two screws that are there to take okay. out the light. Uh, three? Uh, the, that will come out in one piece. Oh, okay. So just so that we don't take away too, too much of it, if you want, mm -hmm. we can actually just... Sorry. What was that? That was the little nut thing that was in the bottom of the, the grip. Oh, okay. That sounded so pleasant. <laughs> yeah. So if you want, we can leave. We can always put this piece back in and just take that out. So this way it's not like a big gaping maw. Well, okay. So, again, I know nothing. Um, but I feel like isn't it a thing where the less weight the gun is, the better or something? We can, we can, t we can really minimize it. So okay. we can do that. Because that's also why we have the Dremel as well. I'm I'm dinky, <laughs> so so the lighter the better. <laughs> okay. This is that the flu. Okay, that's the fine. The bleed. <laughs> that's fine. If since we since you mentioned you want to minimize this, yes. what we're going to do then is with the Dremel, we are going to just make very simple cuts. Right along there mm -hmm. and there. So okay. basically you're removing this front piece right okay. here. So. Okay. I get to use a power tool. Don't act like you've never used one on in the No, on the I tool. have used power tools plenty of times. I just enjoy using power tools. I am, as I've said multiple times already, I'm mm -hmm. small. I am weak. These make me feel not so weak. I've never, I've never used a drum. Yes. That's, that's fast. Well, you're going to want fast. I was, about to, I was about to say, what speed level do you suggest? Fast. That's too fast. <laughs> that's about what I use. Okay. Which direction should you go? This way? Whichever way you feel more comfortable. You can even... What you can also even do is. I'm trying to think of the. Yeah, it has to be over here to do it. Okay. Yeah. So, what you can even do is, if you want, take it off bit by bit. Like, take this piece out so you can get to in there a little bit more. Yeah. Or if you want, just lock it off there. Okay. So. All right. Ah, this is slightly nerve wracking. No. One? Maybe not put it into the mat. Yeah, no, I noticed that. It's fine. It didn't actually it hit it briefly. And two? Safety first. Yes. Oh, this is weird over my own glasses. Uh, okay. 
These are these aren't clean. <laughs> I actually could not see out of them. Okay, so do you suggest going from the side, going from top down with I would say Also that is not a pleasant smell. It's burning plastic. Of course it's not. <laughs> The way I would do it yes, is from the angle, I would try take this off first, mm -hmm. then flip it around and go along this way. Okay. And then just work that, out that yeah. corner until shit pops off. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see also where you're kind of stuck. Yeah. Up there. Oh, that too, but that's still attached. Too. Okay, but oh, just I just powered it. through it. Never mind. There you go. Thank okay, you. It helps. Okay, so now that this is all minimized. Jesus Christ. Yes, there there will be little bits of yellow plastic all over the place, but more importantly, you now have some sharp edges. Yes. So, what you can do to kind of. Even fix this up a little bit mm -hmm. put the shell together and switch out your dremel bit mm -hmm. to the sanding bit and just go along the outside and inside of the edges and also if you want to just even that part out <laughs> yeah because that's and just you yeah, know you didn't make everything a little bit make everything a little smoother okay well, that's probably the best plan okay let's see push the blue button down Ow. Just basically twist it until you hear it click. Mm -hmm. And then switch. Aha. And then rotate. There okay. you go. Beautiful. Okay. Because I didn't want to be an idiot. <laughs> I unplugged it. That's fine. I used to do that too. Oh, yeah. oops, sorry. Yeah. Right. Enough cold. <laughs> Can you turn on the heater? Oh. <laughs> I just froze. Okay. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention before that you will also need, uh, you will once we switch out and do everything and all, we're going to be handling the internals a lot. So therefore, whatever lubricant was on there is all going to be gone. So you will need some kind of lubricant, either white lithium grease or this lovely orange mod work silicone grease. You can also get silicone grease from containment crew or. Think foam blast sells it. Most places that sell modding supplies will sell either silicone or lithium grease. So, yeah, turn, turn the sucker on. I'm frozen. Look, look, look. Oh, okay. I just froze. Okay, so next thing we're gonna work on is the spring replacement and the plunger modification. Now, this is the standard barrel for an eye finder. Thankfully, these are this is from one that isn't glued together because if not, that would be a huge pain in the butt mm -hmm. because this just simply falls apart. <laughs> now, this little piece is your air restrictor. Since we're going for a half dart conversion, we're not going to need that. What you will need, though, is you will need this piece because it obviously sticks everything together. And all you have to do on this is just snip the little tip off. And wire snippers will do fine. Okay. So just this little stick part just comes right off? Yep. You have a lot of faith in me thinking I'm actually going to get this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know where it went. That's fine. We'll find it, it later. <laughs> it pooped. You can just put it there. Okay. Okay. Um, one thing you will need to do is, besides obviously upgrading when you upgrade your spring, you will also need to improve your catch spring as well because the stronger the spring load, the more stress is going to be put on here. So you're definitely going to want something that's going to hold properly. Okay. So what we need from this piece of the barrel is we just need to Dremel this little section right out because that is what we're going to attach the coupler to. Okay. So we'll need to put that back on. Huh? Okay, well. 
I won't trust anymore. Oh, easy. I'm weak. We already we've we've gone over this. Now this is going to be a little, this definitely obviously proceed with caution. You'll want to cut right basically around that line. Okay. Glasses on. <laughs> I never took mine off. <laughs> oh. So the point of that was just to shorten that piece. Yes, because okay. what we're going to do is we're going to enlarge this piece mm -hmm. to kind of seat over there. So, okay. So that piece is fine. What we're going to do is, or at least what I'm going to do just for sake of time. Yeah, it's late, it's cold, I'm tired, yeah, I'm yes. hungry. <laughs> is now that this is cut, because now I'm remembering what I'm doing. Now that this is cut, what we're going to do is. Dremel out the inside of this so that it slots over yeah. the so barrel fits, there. So it fits snug. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I helped out a little bit. Other than that, Arlene's been doing all everything and it's been fine. Sorry, I've been going slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> so steps that we've done is I just dremeled out the inside of this because if anyone knows sanding P CPVC or PVC is a huge pain in the ass so I just did that for to try and get it to fit a little easier on the tip the tip of the barrel that we left you want to just do a little bit of sanding on here just so because this is what is kind of one of the things we're going to epoxy okay so you want to make sure that the epoxy has something to grab onto and there's enough room for said epoxy exactly what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to swap out the spring, okay. and that is super simple because at the edge, uh, at the end of the plunger for the knife finder, the plunger head is screwed on. So <laughs> you can just unscrew that, and also I just remember one thing I actually can do. That's very greasy. Yes, I was not expecting that. And one little thing to also help out with making sure that the seal goes ve is a little bit better on here is, and this isn't something you have to do. This is just something that does help. Okay. You take the O-ring off of your plunger head mm -hmm. and you get some plumber's Teflon tape. And what you do is you kind of just set it into where the O-ring goes. Mm -hmm couple of wraps to help fill it out making sure obviously not to get it on the plunger head itself because you don't want it getting stuck inside the actual plunger tube like you did right there, there. <laughs> and then you put the o-ring back on it and you'll notice that it doesn't move as much and we'll give you a bit of better seal I assume it doesn't matter if this is like closer to this end or this end at all. No. Okay. And then replace the spring. And it's as easy as one, two, three. And screw it back on. Yep. Uh, does it matter where these notches are? No. Okay. Again, you're gonna get a lot of stupid questions. These these are not stupid questions. <laughs> I keep telling you that. Okay. Okay, so that is now done. All right, so these two springs are now replaced. Put the tape in there. Yep. Okay. So you can set that aside. Okay. Because now we're going to do the epoxy and that. Uh, where's my cardboard? Where, oh, there. <laughs> the cardboard is covered in... Plastic. <laughs> dust. Okay. So, so and the epoxy. Now, I've never done this before. I've always made sure you were the one that handled this portion. Okay. <laughs> epoxy is very easy. It's a two, this especially is two part. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one is which, so don't ask. <laughs> but you get try even amounts. Mm -hmm. And then once you have it on the board, mix it up really good. Okay. And then get this at the ready. 
Yep. Okay. And then, okay, so once I get it all mixed up, where am I applying it? You're going to apply it to the tip of okay, so the just, barrel there. So just around the outside of it, not the top at all. I it can get a little bit on. I would I would say no. Okay. Try and keep it on the sides. Okay. And then what you're going to do is once that's done, you're just going to set this on a little bit. Mm -hmm. Try and make it as straight as possible. Okay. There's, so we're not going down that far? No, we're not going to go down too, too far. And okay. actually what we'll do is... Put it in there so we know how far to go. Yep. Okay. So... It doesn't. This is a tiny drum mess. Okay. And actually, what I'm going to do is just to give you a little bit more room, I'm just going to take a minute and dremel this down a little flat okay. so you have a little bit more room to work with. Okay. I'll, I'll wait for you to do that then. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. Well, that itty bit is already solid. So. <laughs> It's supposed to get nice and opaque, I yes. assume. Yes, that's this what's is, happening. <laughs> yes, this particular is the, the epoxy we're using is JB Weld Five Minute Epoxy. So. Okay, and we just want a nice thin coat. Um, or you may want to just. Am I doing it on that? Or I would that do it on this because this okay. way we can set it onto there a lot easier. Okay. Right. And then stick it on there. Ah, no, we made it too thick on that side. <laughs> Don't get on me, please. Can't see if it's straight. Come on. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah. Oh, so we want to put it against it? Well, you want to get as much coverage on it. Okay. You know what? That actually looks pretty good all around. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say let this set up for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a couple of minutes break and we'll see you in a moment. A few minutes later. Okay, so we are back. This has dried as mm -hmm. best we can. I fixed his unstraightening of my lovely tip here. So next, you, you jumped the gun and put everything. I didn't jump the gun too much. I, I had to make a couple of adjustments to the spring because it wasn't setting properly. So he did that. Then he slid this piece over it when I wasn't looking. It's the plunger. It's fine. <laughs> and yep. then you greased that up? No, I have actually not greased, re -greased oh, okay. that up. Well, it still really is very greasy. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. what you can do is you just take a little bit of your... Silicone grease or your lithium grease or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just push a little bit out. Just mm -hmm. rub that along the plunger head. Not with my finger? No, you can just do it. You can just get like a little globby going there mm -hmm. and then just schmear. 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 I had a question while you were off doing things without yes. me looking. So I know you adjusted the length of the spring and replaced it. Yes. Now what made you decide it should be this length? It's basically what will fit into the plunger. Okay. And it will also, what is going to fit without blowing out the top. Okay. Because while in some cases modding, uh, having some pre-compression is fine, mm -hmm. sometimes it's not really necessary and can actually cause you to not prime your blaster properly. Okay. I also cut it down to make it just a little easier for you to use as well. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, so does it this side go in first or that side? It will be this one because when you reset it, reset it back into here. Okay. So screw it back in like that. Gotcha. Okay. So we'll go down there. Yep. And I wouldn't push it through all the way. Okay. So kind of back it out a little bit. Backing it up. Because what you'll want to do is. Oh. Oh. Okay. So it just fits in there. So it'll yep. stay like that. Okay. And then. What you'll do is you'll fit it in here. Mm -hmm. This is going to take a little bit of working Finish. around a bit okay. because you not only have to fit it in there, but you also have to get the catch to fit properly. Okay. And first time 
first timers, that could be a little bit of like that. Fine. <laughs> Screw it back in, Smarty. <laughs> Roll for initiative while you're at it. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> But w w were you joking when you're just like, no, it can be difficult to set? Or or was was I really just like, lucky? No, you really were lucky because I was having issues trying to test fit it beforehand. Ah. Uh, well, see, there are perks to having really teeny tiny fingers. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. <laughs> sure, they're in securely, I assume? Yep, Kay. that should be good. And then... What you'll want to do is, since I don't think you're going to be worrying about the tack rail, so we won't nope. worry about resetting. Okay, so <laughs> we're all done. Yay! Okay, so I don't know, I don't know where to start. Um, first of all, I'm still a weakling because I can't I can't pull it back. Ugh, got go. it. Uh, that really goes for my arm. I'm weak. However, also I I had to go down to a four inch barrel because the other ones were a little too long, and with all of the changes I kept having to do to the spring, six inch barrel was like for some reason fishtailing stuff. This this works nice. Okay. Okay. I, I, I don't, I'm gonna av avoid the camera. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I like that. Yes. <laughs> So I would, I will have to make an actual like four, and before you put the barrel on, mm -hmm. make sure you prime it, oh, okay. because otherwise you'll it. It will, yes, you will get what's called the. Yeah. Uh, I did the it easy that time. There you go. See, it will get Yay! easier over time. Yay! How tight does it need to be in there? Mm, pretty good. Okay. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm turning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so my thoughts on today I had a wonderful teacher who was very patient with me and I appreciate that You're because I, I take a long time because I, I like to be very meticulous so, that's so thank fine. you nope. there we go. that's fine our uh, viewers will depending on how, again how I edit this will either have sat through a quick tutorial <laughs> or quite a long lesson so cut it down short okay <laughs> Um, but no, so it was a really fun activity. I didn't, like, from shooting it without any of the mods to now, like, I actually feel the difference. Yes. I've never done, like, an actual before and after feel mm -hmm. with one. So, not gonna lie, it, it's pretty awesome. I, I get the appeal. I do. Sure. Um, didn't realize I would not have so much control over those particular power tools compared to the ones that I've used in the past. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely just gotta build up my arm muscle so I can hold that steady yes steady grip <laughs> uh but otherwise it was actually really really fun it i'm was. glad i'm glad you enjoyed th th it thank you for this video idea it was actually it was really really fun and now i i can proudly say that i've created something yes you are now you are now a modder it's it's about damn time <laughs> since i've been on this channel for what two about a, years about a, at least a year and a almost yeah it's almost two years now almost two years yeah Wait, we're recording this in March. Yeah, two years. Two we, years. We, yeah, wow. Time flies. flies. I'm sorry you put up with me for so long. <laughs> I thoroughly appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I no. would say half of our subscribers are fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this was definitely an interesting activity. I know this is something you've been wanting to do for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And now we finally made the time for it. Yes. And this is coming home with me. Yes, that's okay. your, that is yours. I think... We actually should do a follow up and do painting. We could do because sorry, this ain't my color scheme. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. So the next back to basics. Although I, although there are wonderful back to basic paint tutorials that I do have on the channel. You do. Yes, we can also do. We can also kind of revisit that and just have a walkthrough like with the mod. I feel like it. I was all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. That sounds all good to me. But thank you. You're welcome. Such a good friend. Yay. Yay. All right. But that's going to be it for this video. So 
if you enjoyed this video and we hope you did throw us a like and subscribe leave a comment down below let us know how much you learned from this or if you did learn anything from this or if you think i'm a crappy teacher or a good teacher whichever you're the best teacher thank you he, he definitely had the proper mixture of hands-on but letting me kind of do it at my own pace i, I thoroughly yeah. appreciate it you're welcome and don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when we're doing some silliness stuff here on the channel. And there will be a lot more coming soon now that we've picked up speed since yes. since this insane winter. Yes. <laughs> and now insane pandemic and yeah. everything else that's going to come with the rest of the year. So, <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Later.